Republican Senator Kelly Loeffler urged people to go and vote in Sandy Springs, Georgia today. She is one of a number of Republican senators who say they will object to the electoral votes cast in key states when a joint session of Congress convenes tomorrow. Adam Murphy joins me now from Senator Leffler's campaign headquarters in Atlanta. He's an investigative reporter for our affiliate WGCL. Adam, thanks very much for being with us. Remind us why Senator Leffler gets to participate in that vote tomorrow, but Senator David Perdue will not. Well, good evening here from the Grand Hyatt in Buckhead, where the stage is set for tonight's results to come in. And as you can see over my shoulder, the theme for the night is hold the line. Now to answer your question, it's interesting because Senator Leffler is still a senator and she is still holding onto her seat. Whereas her colleague, Senator David Perdue, his term actually ended on Sunday. So therefore he would not be able to vote tomorrow because we will not know the outcome in time for that to actually happen. But Senator Leffler will be in a position to return to Washington after everything unfolds this evening and, and obviously make a vote, uh, depending on how she feels at that time, in the Congress. Well, how has Senator Leffler campaigned in the final week or so of this race? Has it been different at all since Senator Perdue has been quarantining? Well, I know from Senator Leffler's standpoint, she has really crisscrossed the state over the last nine weeks, making stops in many communities, especially the rural areas in the state of Georgia, because that is a stronghold for Republicans. She knows she's got to get those areas to turn out. And she's made it very clear that this is a turnout election. At this point in time, we know more than three million people in the state of Georgia voted early. Those numbers historically tend to favor the Democrats. This is going to be a real challenge for the Republicans because it does come down to significant voter turnout today. Now, I will tell you, Senator Leffler's team released a statement basically saying they feel pretty good about the voter turnout at this point in time, particularly in North Georgia, specifically in Dalton and in that community where President Trump held a large rally last night. They feel like they got a bump from the president's rally, which thousands turned out for. But time will tell how well she'll do. David Perdue, on the other hand, has been in quarantine after being exposed to someone with COVID-19. So it's been a bit of a challenge for him. That being said, at many of the events that Senator Leffler has been out, and also, of course, when the president came to town, they really did push both Leffler and Perdue as a package deal. Hmm. Well, what have you been hearing from Senator Leffler's uh, supporters? If you've had a chance to talk to folks, are they feeling confident? I think they're confident. They're cautiously optimistic uh, is probably the best phrase to describe how her supporters feel and her team, for that matter. I know that Senator Leffler will arrive here at the Grand Hyatt in Buckhead this evening around 9 o'clock. Her entire family is coming in from Illinois to be here for the events. We also believe that Governor Brian Kemp, who has been certainly a strong supporter of Senator Leffler, and he's the one that appointed her to Congress, we understand he may be here as well tonight. People are cautiously optimistic, as I said, but they're also very concerned. They know it is all about turnout today. And if the Republicans don't turn out, they won't win. And it's just that simple. I would think at this point in time, the Democrats do take a bit of an edge or have an edge going in because they turned out very strong prior to Election Day. All right, Adam Murphy for us. Adam, thank you very much.